What is up, Evil Crew? Check it out today. We are heading now to an abandoned location in the middle of nowhere. Here, let me show you what it's at. We're gonna show you on Google Earth. Here it is here on Google Earth. You can see, you can see what appears to be several buildings. It looks like mostly trailers and things like that. We are gonna head out there right now. It'll be about an hour ride on, on a bunch of dirt roads like we're on right now. So let's go out there and check it out. All right, here we are, we made it. And check it out. If this isn't like one of the creepiest places that I've yet visited. I mean, look at this place. There's literally, there's stuff all over here to explore. Let's go check them out. All right guys, it's a little windy today, so you might hear the wind. Before we get started here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and like. The wind is gonna make us a little bit shakier than usual. We're gonna go check out this little house over here first. But check at this place, it's crazy. It makes me feel like I'm not sure there's gonna be somebody here. some jewelry and watches and stuff here. Big old rat trap right there. Hello? This is sketchy. Little, little telephone right there. What's that noise? I need a dates on that stuff. This is like someone's entire house right here, their entire life. Something must have happened. I wonder what happened to them. It's like eggs still in here. 23 years ago. All right, guys, let's make sure there's nobody in here. Maybe we can open this other door. Look at this, there's just so much stuff in here. It's crazy. Look at this, there's just stuff all over in here. What a trip. Like someone just took off. Check it out guys, it's like they just, someone just left. I don't know what could have happened to the people that lived here. And they obviously were here in 2015 in May. Makes you wonder if something happened, if they died here or something. Found the letters though, some handwritten letters. Let's read them. What does it say? Oh, these are just recipes. Recipes. Yep. This is pretty awesome though. This is pretty amazing. How the heck do mice get up here to lay their turds all the way up here on the top of this thing? <laughs> Literally everything is just left behind here. Everything. Yeah, they were big in the cooking. You can see that. Most valuable player in 1978. Hey, right, there's a picture of the Mojave. Check out that guy's got an old globe right there. And all this stuff is just everywhere. 
I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a creepy doll that got me for a second there. Pretty awesome though. A lot of stuff. We have a lot to go see, guys. Let's go check out some more. Hey, they had a little dartboard up there. We're gonna keep going. Let's go. Alright guys, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go check out that over there. Looks like another couple buildings. And look at all these vehicles over here, like an old Dotson camper. This would have been the old work truck. Looks like he was a mechanic. Maybe a, a mobile mechanic. I don't know if it comes through, there's a dead rat. I mean, look, there's just stuff everywhere, stuff piled. I mean, this would be like a scrapper's dream right here. This is more, look at all this stuff in here. Must be like his little workshop. We got a lot of auto parts and A-track tapes. A whole bunch of A-tracks and an A-track player right there. Man, there's just stuff everywhere here. What a cool little place this is. Look at this. There's just so much here. There's a, a clothesline back there. And an old outhouse over there. An engine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just flies. Oh, there's flies all over. It's always a good sign. We got some tools. There's tools and lots of rodent droppings in here. All right, let's see what we got. We got lots of science books looks like semiconductor references electronics so they pretty much did it all and there's an oxygen tank there which makes me wonder if they were either on medical oxygen i mean that's what happened what what do you got what is it i'll turn it up i can't read what it is what's inside of it is it heavy yeah it's really heavy what's inside of it mojave cremation dude these are that's someone's ashes. April 1998, she was cremated. These remains are Rosie Marie. Wow, guys, look at what we found. This is crazy. This is someone's remains, and it, it's kind of a shame. I mean, why was she left out, out here in this little, this little trailer like this? Don't you think they were supposed to spread her ashes somewhere? Yeah, that's pretty. That's a shame, guys. We're gonna put and put that back. But that is crazy. If that's not the craziest thing. Well, it's one of the craziest things I've ever found. Human remains. It's crazy. Let's put that back. We're gonna put it back up on the shelf. Kind of brings it to, takes us to a whole new level at this place. It's kind of weird because in 1998 she was cremated. Well, that was a long time ago and she's just been sitting here in this little trailer. Thankfully, nobody's coming out here to destroy it. I mean, you could see they destroyed the area, but they haven't destroyed her ashes. At least some things are sacred, I guess, to the vandals. Oh man, it drives me nuts, the vandals. All right guys, so we're gonna put that back and we're gonna continue exploring in this little shack here. All right, so we're gonna look around. So there's Rosie Marie's remains is right there on the shelf and that's exactly where we're gonna leave. It's really heavy. I never thought that ashes would be so heavy, but I mean, I guess it's one of us in there, you know? And there's the bathroom. We got a weird little bathroom back here. A fire extinguisher and a painting right there. And right, we got a couple more buildings still to go check out. Let's go. There's two Atari systems in here. All right, so over here we got a clothesline where they would have hung up their clothes and a little outhouse. But they had a bathroom in this one. We got another trailer over there. Lots of trailers. Should we go check them all out? You guys want to see them all? See what else we can find? There's a really creepy little one right there. We got to keep looking. Let's go. So here's the backside. The ashes, the human remains are right there next to that door. Back here, they had like a little wooden platform to come out here, like a little porch to come chill. And they chilled out here. And there's another trailer full of just, guys, this is just like stuff everywhere. I mean, literally there's like an old fender, maybe guitar pedal right there i'm not sure that's a box for one that's for sure and they pretty much just piecemealed this place together a little here and a little there even got some old coke bottles and look at how warped that is definitely a guitar player look at that go a guitar case and there probably was a guitar here someone probably probably ripped it though pretty interesting it's like the car was just ready to be hitched up but what's really interesting is 
none of these vehicles have license plates on them. Look at this old Datsun right here. Still got like a little baby shoe hanging up inside. Really makes you wonder what happened here. Where did everybody go? Because this place looked like it was loaded with people at one time. Check it out, an old, an old cell phone right there, an old flip phone. Someone had tossed it out. Maybe they upgraded to a smartphone and then disappeared. Maybe the aliens got them, guys. I don't know. Check it out, here's another one, another old phone. Makes me wanna go and try to plug it in and see if it'll boot up and see what's on it. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. Maybe we'll come back out and just bring a portable charger with us and see if we can't boot it. Look at that car over there, it looks like a Monte Carlo. We just got stuff all over here to check out. Let's go see some more. An old Coleman stove, camping stove. They do not make them like that anymore. This reminds me of my grandpa. He had one of these old stoves. And look at that, another old Coleman lantern. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if you can see it in the camera, there's a little clock right there. And that trailer, that, that trailer's, you know, really going downhill quick. And we got a truck cab, we got this. I don't know what that is, like an old trailer. And even got a boat to check out. So we're gonna check out all this stuff. Then we got another Ford Ranger truck and a trailer over there, it looks in decent shape. And we got a house over here. Looks in good shape. And a ninth, that's a really old trailer. And then we got a, a boat. Looks like a pretty good shape boat too. Some broken glass there. Wow, look at that. Oh, have to watch out for the bees. Wow, look at this place. Whoa, it's just loaded with stuff again. That was the bathroom, and now it's nothing but clothing. Over here we have just a lot of stuff again. Like I have to wonder what the heck happened to the people that were here? Where did they go? Mostly clothes and stuff like that. Someone's flip flops like they're ready to jump out of bed and head out. Gotta wonder. Where did they go? I know I'm saying that a lot, guys. That's my, my what I'm gonna say all day to drive some people nuts. Where did they go? Where did they go, guys? Is that like an old projector up there in the corner? It looks like it. Let's continue to look around. Got like a Euro Pro sewing machine. Gonna have to look that up and see when that was a thing. I look at the roof is caving in, the ceiling, I mean. Not really much for us to see over there. Check it out, still got all the stuff in the cabinets. Look at that little thing right there, that's pretty cool. A little basket. And over there we got the cookie jars. Still sugar over there in the sugar container. Still have all the drapes and look at the futon. Like they were ready to still come home. They have everything, all the drapes. I really gotta figure out what the story is of this place. Look at this, little cookie jars. Someone was in the sewing. Wow, this place is pretty cool. What do you guys think? What do you think about this place? These kind of places you guys like to explore? You guys want to see more of this kind of stuff? Because we have a lot mapped out. We can see so much of this stuff. Somewhere back there is a toilet. And there's a lot of mice and rodent activity. Once again, the hantavirus. All right, guys, let's go see what else we can see. Look at the old crochet work right there. Like they crocheted it themselves. Look, it's a note to the person who lived here. Hi, Connie. It was great talking to you. Thanks for the call and the order. I hope you enjoy your books and get a lot out of them. Good luck. You pick good ones. Check out our other things, because I know you'll need more. And give me a call if you have any questions. Rock on. Ron Middlebrock. Some kind of guitar thing, because look. There's guitar picks in there. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe they read those books and became ultra wealthy and got the heck out of here. Smells in here, guys, really bad. It smells like a cat, That's what it reminds me of. So look at this, look at that, that's pretty neat. Like someone's whole home was right here. Makes you wonder, well, it makes me wonder. I don't know if it makes you wonder. All right, let's go, guys, let's go. Look at that, that's, I still think it's cool how the flip-flops are right there by the bed. Like something happened where these people booked it quick. 
they got out of here in a real quick fashion because who just leaves their flip-flops that are like you know right next to your bed without taking them? you probably wore them every day soda bottles here old pepsi and seven up i'm not really sure if you guys know if those are any or those are older or not post them in the comments because there's a whole bunch of them here is this like a really old washing machine guys that's what it looks like to me look at that that looks like ancient washing machine ancient really old look let me get out of the shadow here yeah that's like a really old washing machine now i'm saying old those are old those are like antiques vintage some people would claim man too bad someone can't fix those up that's a part of american history right there that is really cool i've actually never seen one that old this one still has a belt on it i mean that truck looks like they were about to replace the tire and they just stopped in the middle and that was it something happened here Something must have happened pretty big that just ripped this family apart or something and people just left in a hurry. Maybe a foreclosure, maybe during the time when the, 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 the banks were foreclosing on everybody. I don't know, I think it's pretty wild. I love that there's still glass in most of these windows. You can see the vandals have come out and destroyed some of the windows, but for the most part, it's pretty left intact. I wanna go see what's in up there on that porch. There's a big orange container right there. I wanna go see what's in it, let's go. Look at these barrels, I don't know if they're full or not. Oh yeah, they're full. That's kinda of creepy, guys. Like a body or something? That'd be creepy. Right, here we are, guys, on the porch. See, someone here was elderly, they have a walker. So we had an elderly person living here. And they still have their tools and everything up here, like there. I mean, look, at. there's a whole bunch of tools left here, everywhere. I don't know what was in that orange container. Oh, I'm hearing bees. That old radio. I'm gonna close this door so bugs can't get in. They just had stuff everywhere in here. Seriously. They had like an animal thing in the tub. There are glasses up there. It's kind of crazy how they piece this place together. Look at how they piece this together. They got, you got pieces of wood like down there. I don't know if it's coming through the camera, like wedged in and look how they put the, the window in. Pretty much just piece this thing together. Like a little here and a little there it looks like. A lot of people ask me, Hey, you ever found a dead body? You ever found a dead body? I guess, I guess now I could say, yeah, in a way I did. Found human remains, they were ashes. They're right there in that little, little shack over there. It's hard to believe that we found that. That's really weird. It's actually kind of sad out here.